Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, we did just take a quick break, and now uh, I'm joined again by Sophie, our student MC for the day. Um, we just wanted to wrap up the day again with a little bit more of our optional programming. Sophie is going to take us through a couple more spots around campus, um, just within her residence room, a student lounge, uh, and hopefully the Mercado and Dining Pavilion. So kind of all within that Claire Hall building. Um, and along the way, we'll be answering some questions for you. I'll be uh, keeping an eye on the chat. I know there's a few of us still left on the event. So if you have questions, please, we really encourage you to use the chat and ask those questions. Uh, we'll be answering uh, as we go. So Sophie, if you want to uh, take it away, you can start to kind of show these. Sure. Questions. So I know briefly I show, did a little bit of a residence um, room tour, um, but I can kind of quickly highlight some of those key features again, in case you missed it. Um, initially. So Claire Hall has huge, awesome rooms. Um, you can see there's like tons of space here right when you walk in. Um, you also have your own um, personal sink, which is like really nice. Um, and then right this way, we have queen size beds, which is awesome. Um, really nice feature about um, Claire Hall. Tons of wall space, which is awesome. Just if you'd like to personalize it with artwork and photos and things like that. Um, and then this is my desk area, which is where I spend quite a lot of time, especially as of late. Um, there's tons of counter space as well as like tons of space to add decor, your own sort of personalizations, which is awesome. And then over here, each room has a huge window, which is awesome for letting in tons of natural light, especially on nice spring days like today. It's perfect. And then... The last key feature is Brescia's dorms have a huge floor to ceiling um, closet wall, which is awesome for tons of storage and keeping all your belongings nice and safe, which is awesome. So I'm going to head out and take you on the next part of this brief tour, which is we are going to head to the um, floor lounges. Wonderful. Thanks, Sophie. So I'm just going to continue to chat along as we go on our tour. I'm going to um, pop on and off with my camera. So I think if I disappear for a little bit, uh, the audience members, you should be able to see a larger view of Sophie's um, screen there so you can get a better, better picture of the different spaces in residence. But um, yeah, like Sophie mentioned, she, she's heading just down the hallway. Um, you can see uh, we do always get a lot of compliments on Claire Hall and how it's quite beautiful, um, the building inside, especially um, down the hallways. It's kind of like a hotel feeling. There's individual rooms um, as you walk down the, the hallway and then um, you'll find these common spaces. Uh, this is a, one of our floor lounges. So I'll let Sophie um, take it away and share some more information here. Oh, we may have lost a connection. It might just be my screen. I don't know if you guys are having some of the uh, same issues on your end, but we'll give Sophie a little uh, a little bit of time just to reconnect here. Um, she is traveling throughout uh, the building, so we might have um, some inter internet connections on and off throughout. Awesome. Um, we also have a bit of a dining room area over here, which is great. Just if you want to study or dinner with your friends, this is a great um, place to do that. Again, um, Brush's buildings have tons of big windows, tons of natural light. You can see like the nice clear blue skies today. Um, but yeah, this is Brush's courtyard, as you can see out here. So this is a great place. Um, there's usually tables out there in the summer and the warmer months. Um, and this is a really um, great view, actually, of Claire Hall from the outside. And then this way we have chairs and a nice big TV, which is awesome. We like to watch movies in here and hang out um, on the weekends and when we're studying. And it's just a great place to hang out with your friends and your floor mates. And yeah, so that's um, an overview of the floor lounge. And each floor actually has a floor lounge. So every floor has one. So there's, I think, eight in total in the entire building, which is really nice. Um, yeah, so there's tons of space always available to hang out um, with your friends and um, your floor mates, which is awesome. The next um, place that we're going to stop are the study rooms. So this is an example of a study room um, on the residence floor. 
So this um, room, again, has the floor-to-ceiling windows, um, which is awesome for studying, personally, I find. Um, we also have a nice big table and chairs, which is great. Um, you can study with your friends or alone. And then there are also um, whiteboards, which is awesome, too. So if you're, you're more of a visual learner, you can write things out and study that way. Um, yeah, and they also have sliding glass doors. So if you'd like some quiet, you can also close the door, which is awesome. So there's tons of different options and great study spots on campus, which is awesome. The next, um, we're going to head down to the Mercado and the campus dining area next. We'll see if um, our Wi-Fi stays in the elevator. I have a sneaky suspicion that Sophie might um, time out with her Wi-Fi connection just through navigating down the elevator, but um, hopefully she'll, she'll rejoin us here shortly. And um, as she mentioned, we'll be going to uh, past the reception area and over to the Mercado and Dining Pavilion. Um, I, I'm back. So here we have our laundry room facility. Um, so this is where most of the residents, it's quite loud in here, do all their laundry, as you can sense of washers and dryers. And then the next place I'm going to show you is probably one of my favorite rooms. Um, sorry, just get out of there. This room is actually probably one of my favorite rooms in the entire building. It's actually Claire Hall's own fitness center, which is amazing. So there's bikes, as you can see, ellipticals, also a treadmill and then there are mats and weights so tons of equipment um, to use which is awesome I love it I come here every day and work out and it's awesome so this is one of my favorite places um, exclusively for Claire Hall um, residents students excuse the noise for one second please Saturdays are usually a quite a busy day for laundry so here we have our reception area. Um, we have someone here 24 seven, so it's very secure. And um, they're everyone's super friendly, which is awesome. So we have our mailboxes here. So every resident has a mail slot, so you can have mail from home. Um, if you're an online shopper, that is perfect for you as well. Um, yeah, so we'll walk down this way and you can kind of get a better idea of where we're heading. Again, tons of natural light. Um, through all the windows. Sophie, just in the meantime, as you head down to the Mercado and Dining Pavilion, we do have a question here. Are meal plans only for people living in residence or can all students purchase them? Um, I'll answer that question just briefly. So with our meal plans, they are for students who are living in Clare Hall in Brescia's residence. Um, our Mercado and Dining Pavilion does accept uh, alternate payment methods for um, uh, purchasing meals. So uh, myself as a staff member, our professors and our other Brescia students, current students um, can all visit the Dining Pavilion and purchase a bite to eat. Um, so you don't need a meal plan to make a purchase in the Dining Pavilion. Um, so you can use a uh, cash debit credit in the uh, Mercado space there. But uh, any, any students living in residence will be required to have a uh, meal plan. Thanks, Jazz. So I can quickly pick back up. Here we have a Starbucks kiosk. It's obviously closed on weekends, but during um, the Monday to Friday week, it's um, open and you can grab a hot or cold Starbucks beverage from there, which is awesome. And then right this way, we have our Mercado or our dining pavilion on campus. So as you can see, it's quite large. Um, there's tons of different stations. We have sushi, we have a bakery, a rotisserie station, as well as a global, um, which has is all very interactive. You can customize things to your liking. Um, over in the far corner there, we have the grill, which is more of like your pub food. And then we also have a salad bar, as you can see this big orange island is our salad bar, um, as well as we have tons of comm commissary type items like chips and snacks, um, pre-made um, things. If you're, you know, you're in a rush, you need something quick on the go, that's a great place to get that. So definitely all of the, um, your meal needs are definitely taken care of in the Mercado. And then the last stop is our 
on-campus dining hall, which is where we can actually eat our meals from the Mercado. So here we have our big open space. Um, as you can see, the tables are currently spread out just in terms of the distancing that needs to happen. Um, normally, it's quite a busy um, place. It's kind of like the hub on campus. It's, there's always people studying, eating, hanging out. Super popular place, um, especially um, during exams. People like to study down here, so there's tons of uses. Um, in the summer, it's also a banquet um, and events um, site where you can have different events. So there's tons of tons of different uses for it. So, yeah, so that sort of ends our um, on-campus tour of the Clare Hall residence portion. Um, if anyone has any quick questions, I can take my best stab at answering those. And Jasmine's here also for support. Yeah, first we'll stick around. We have about two minutes left in our event, and I, I do believe that the event platform will time out in um, in a short amount of time. If you do have any last questions, please feel free to to share them here. I do see one from Mary. She's wondering about um, where the showers are. So each residence room is a um, private room with a shared. Um, there, there's a shared ensuite uh, washroom with one other person. So you do have a shower in that bathroom area. Um, so uh, on this tour, we didn't spend too much time on that in the washroom area, but um, in a previous session, we did touch on um, the shared washroom environment. Uh, the workout facility though, if you're uh, kind of referring to that, we don't have a shower facility in the workout area in Russia's uh, residence, it's just within um, your uh, your floors and your your uh, living space there. And I don't see any other questions. We'll give it one more minute. We're just about to wrap up. So um, if you do have any outstanding questions, please feel free to reach out to our team. Again, like I said, we are always happy to connect with you. You can reach us through email or um, uh, online on the Russia chat. So thanks everyone for joining us today. It's been fantastic. Um, take care and we hope to see you again soon.